Hello everyone and welcome back to another GTA Online guide where today I'm going to be taking a look at the Half Track released as part of the Gun Running DLC so let's get right to it shall we? The Half Track priced at 2.25 million non-discounted is an anti-air gun which in its basic configuration is mounted with two machine guns and with the right research completed can be fitted with four guns effectively doubling its firepower. But before we can really get into all of that stuff, we first have to upgrade everything that's on the vehicle. Uh, well, as far as we can, considering we haven't done any research. Some of the options you can include on your half-track that really stand out is the ability to fit the half-track with some armour plating, which has two effects. Number one, it makes the vehicle tough against both bullets and rockets, and two, it makes occupants inside the cabin unable to use any weapons at all. So if you're wanting raw firepower out of this thing in the form of the rear gunner, as well as the occupants inside the vehicle being able to use drive-by weapons, you have to have this vehicle unarmoured. But if you're a smart person who has friends, then it's a no-brainer to put some armour plating on this thing, just to be safe. Performance-wise, this thing is pretty darn nippy when it comes to off-road traversing. It's not as slow as it first seems, though don't try and chase anything down in this thing as it may not be slow, but it's also not going to be keeping pace with the likes of sports cars or anything better. That leaves just the weapons and armour of the thing to talk about now, and I know what all of you will be asking. Is this vehicle the death of the Hydra? Mmm, no. The guns, although powerful, especially if you were to put the quad machine gun mod on it, have limited effective range, and if enemy aircraft are far enough away from you, they can easily launch a counter-attack. Now does it make it a bad vehicle? No. It's great for shooting at pretty much anything you want, and also if you get the added proximity mine mod, you can have deployable mines attached to the vehicle like cars in the original Grand Theft Auto, which is pretty cool. Its armour is also pretty darn awesome, though I think it may be glitched at this moment in time because if you shoot the side windows like so, they can be penetrated and even broken leaving the occupant inside vulnerable, that's how it should be. However, the front windows are very interesting because although visually they get shot through by simple gunfire, it turns out that this is just visual, and the front panel still protects the occupant inside despite being visually clear to the shooter. Maybe it's got some kind of force field or something. Again, this might be the result of something that needs to be fixed, so don't expect this trait to be on the vehicle for long. Unless this is how the vehicle is intended to be. We can only find out in due time, but in the meantime, I hope you enjoyed this short review, and I will see you in upcoming videos. See you around, everyone!